Okay, hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Red Stream Dead Field. Today we're going to be uh, fishing and hunting the Flat Iron Lake Islands over here, uh, which is uh, just west of Rhodes. I happen to be in Blackwater so I had to steal a boat and I'm going to cross the lake to get to these. Put my marker down. Okay, now to fish for the uh, steelhead trout, you'll want to come into the little uh, area here with the shipwreck, um, which is, let me show you that real quick, it's right here, it's this main island, it's in this er little uh, area where the water comes in there, the little bay, I guess. All right. You wanna go ahead and call for your horse because you'll need to, to get around the island. Let's see here. And also, I brought my shotgun and my bolt action rifle on. I need the armament rifle, but we'll go ahead and get the fishing rod out here. And we'll use, I'll just go ahead and use the special spinner. That way you can see what all different types of fish there are. There, there are also snakes in there, which for some reason online are really hard to shoot because you can't really lock onto them when they're in the water. Fish. Uh, it looks like a rock bass. Yeah. Those are worth a dollar a piece. Let's go ahead and just switch to the. Uh, we'll do a special lake lure. There's a steelhead trout. That's actually going to be a smallmouth bass. Smallmouth bass are worth two dollars a piece. Um, now, if you uh, your limit's ten on each one of those, so that's twenty-five for the steelhead trout, tw uh, twenty for the smallmouth, and there's a, another location where you can catch um, largemouth bass uh, in this area. There goes a green iguana over there. Uh, but these islands, the point is, are, are quite lucrative. There's another steelhead trout. Okay, now we're going to be hunting in the area that we were fishing here. Uh, let's see. There's a land crab, there's ducks. Now with the land crab, I'm pretty sure they're more valuable if you break them down before selling them. 
Well, that one's not going to be worth much at all, but... Uh, go over here. Grab the duck. This is also the island. Those might be herons right there. Let's see. Here they come. Yeah, that's a great blue heron. Unfortunately, I shot them all over the mill to water. I don't know if I'll be able to get most of them. That one I can't touch. These other ones I ought to be able to pick up. Their feathers are quite lucrative. Or their plumes, whatever they want to call them. You go ahead and store the... If you get any perfect ones, store them on your horse. After this, I'll, I'm going to head over to the largemouth area on these islands, and then also the, the turkey, uh, what I'll call the turkey island, because it's the only island over here that has turkeys on it. Okay, and now I'm on the island where you can catch uh, largemouth, and there's also still head trout here. Uh, let's look at the map, show you which island this is. It's this one up here, to the north of the island we were just on. Let's cast out there and see. Now you want to, you don't want to really rush through these islands. Uh, because you can get, like if you get 10 largemouth, 10 smallmouth, 10 steelhead trout, uh, that in itself is going to be a lot of money. There's another steelhead trout. Plus, uh, seeing the, uh, the herons fly overhead, um, there's also loons and gills, or gulls, not gills. Uh, but, uh, let's see where the, the largemouth might be up on the top side of this island. Let's see. either going to be a large mouth or a steelhead. You can tell by the way it hit. And that, there's the large mouth. They're on the north side of the island. And I already have plenty of them. So, throw those back out there. And now we're on what I call Turkey Island. Uh, hunting turkeys, there's some uh, gulls, but right there. Well, they need to clean this farm right. And 
and this island is just to show you it's the one south of the initial island I mean, this is a really great area to hunt and fish. You've got uh, three types of medium-sized fish on these islands. Um, they are the uh, largemouth bass, the smallmouth bass, and the steelhead trout. Um, you've got green iguanas, uh, Cuban land crabs, uh, and then on this island down here you have turkeys. Um, and don't forget the herons that, that fly over the uh, the middle island, the initial island we were on. Um, you can make quite a bit of money on these islands. Um, it's they're definitely worth visiting uh, just for the fishing alone. But the hunting uh, and, and like it being mainly birds and stuff, it's not going to cost much to go hunting there because you've got your varmint rifle and the ammunition is really cheap on the varmint rifle. Um, that's all there is for this episode of uh, Red Stream Dead Field. Uh, let's just look at what we've got so far here. Um, where are the materials. I've got nine steelhead trout, uh, eight smallmouth, uh, ten largemouth, and a rock bass. Cuban land crab, and then uh, let's see, there should be four heron plumes, and uh, I know I've got turkey feathers as well, so I just shot them, and then the meat that goes along with all that. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Red Stream Dead Field. Uh, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.